This is a demo highlighting how Hypatia worksheets work. So here we have a classic related rates problem. We have two cyclists approaching each other and we know two of their velocities and we want to figure out how this distance between them is changing with time. So we begin by solving the problem by using the Pythagorean theorem to write some relationship about the side lengths of the triangle. So we can say that x squared plus y squared equals z squared. Uh, but similarly, we could have written this as z squared equals x squared plus y squared. So Hypatia doesn't necessarily care which way you write the equation as long as it's correct. So we can check our work and we see that there aren't any issues here. Below we see that there are some yellow boxes, but this just means that we haven't filled these out yet. So it's reminding us to complete the problem. So moving forward, we can go ahead and differentiate both sides. So we can say, okay, this will be 2z and now we can either type commands with the keyboard. So diff is the derivative, so we can say dz dt. Um, but we can also, for x here, use the toolbox on the bottom. So here I'll use the derivative and now we can write dx dt this way. And similarly plus y and then dy dt. Now if I were a student solving this maybe I would make a mistake here. Maybe I'd say you know, write a minus sign here. Anytime as I work through my problem, I can always check, and Hypatia will mark this as incorrect and warn me that I still have more work to do at this part of the problem. So going back, I can fix what I've made a mistake on and check again, and we see that now it's okay. So we can continue simplifying this. We can say diff zt, and now to type this out a bit faster, we can copy this expression paste it down here. We want to divide both sides by this 2z factor so we can quickly paste it into the denominator of some fractions and just like that I've written out a whole new row of my equation. Now in general these problems can be more complicated. This one that we're using here as an example is, is simple. It works out because we, we, we want to solve for dz dt and it's right on that side. Um, but Hypatia supports uh, any sort of algebraic manipulation that would be required for a more complex problem. So moving forward, we want to substitute what we know. So we can say, okay, we know that z is the square root of x squared plus y squared. And now that I'm actually solving for z, um, these are no longer generic functions, now they're constants. So I can substitute the values that we have for them from the problem. So we say z equals the square root of, and then x was 0.3 squared plus and y was 0 0.4 squared. And I could say this equals one half. So I'm not restricted in necessarily working in columns. I could work horizontally or any which way is more natural for me. And I can always check my work and see that Hypatia understands that I've written this in a horizontal form. But just to be more concise, we can write this as z equals 0 0.5 here. And so instead of writing a, a fraction, I can also write this as a decimal, and that's also correct. So moving forward, we can say, all right, now we actually want to solve for dz dt. So we can say dz dt equals, and now instead of typing this whole thing out again, we already have an expression for dz dt up here. So I can go ahead, copy it, paste it down here, and now I can go back, edit it, and just substitute all the values that we now know. So x was 0 0.3, z was 0 0.5, dx dt is going to be negative 50 because this is decreasing, but let's say as a student I substituted just 50. I made a, a mistake here, so we can do times 50 and then continue on here, y was 0 0.4, z was 0 0.5, and similarly instead of writing negative 60, I'll just write 60 here. And so if I go to check this at this step, it'll say, hey, I made a mistake here. And I can go back and realize, okay, these both should have been negative. Check again. And we see that now it's marked as correct. So eventually this will evaluate to, if we say dz dt, this evaluates to negative 78. Um, and now when we write our final answer, we can say this is equal to 78 because they're approaching each other at 78. and so the distance is decreasing at 78 kilometers per hour. So that was just a brief introduction to Hypatia. Um, it's very versatile. I can write my math however I want. 
as if I was writing it on paper. I can copy paste to make my life easier and I can check my work along the way. So working with Hypatia is very intuitive and a great experience for the students. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.